Assalamualaikum guys, Irfan back again with another video and in this video what we will be doing is setting up an excel file that would uh, do currency conversion for you. Uh, what that means is, uh, say for example, you are sitting in uh, Toronto and you are flying off to London and you want to know how much would your Canadian money, your Canadian dollars are worth in England in terms of the British pound. So what this Excel, and with this Excel file, what we'll do is we'll set up the file so it has a database of all the conversion rates. Uh, we'll keep the base currency as the Canadian dollar, and then we have uh, currencies, uh, the rates for diff, you know, the major currencies, and in, in terms of the, the Canadian dollar, how many, uh, say for example, British pound do you get for one Canadian dollar, how many euros you get for one uh, Canadian dollar, that type of thing. Uh, so let's get started. So first what we'll do is we'll fire up uh, Excel and go into a blank sheet. Uh, then we also need to uh, fire up our Google Chrome or any uh, browser. And we need to browse to a site called xrates.com. Okay. Now this is a website that gives you different uh, currency exchange rates. Uh, first, what we do is we'll uh, come to this section here where it says configure converter. Now, what this is saying right now is the base currency is the US dollar. We'll change that to, the, to Canadian dollar. So let's make that change here. And then what we'll do is we'll click on the rates table because that's where we are, you know, where we'll be grabbing the table of, of the conversion table basically. Okay. So let it open up. There you go. Okay, so uh, just to give you an idea, uh, one Canadian dollar is equal to 0.74 US dollar or 0.66 Euro or 0.57 British pound. Okay, so now what we'll do is we'll copy this URL, Control C for copy. I'll go into my Excel. Okay, uh, go to data from web. And here's the, the URL. So what I'll do is I'll paste the URL over here and click on go. Okay. So let's let it go and grab this. Now you'll get prompts asking you uh, whether you want to uh, view only web pages that are delivered securely. You don't care for this uh, particular application. You don't care. So let's just click on no. So you, you get all, of, all the different ones. Now, it, you may get this error message saying an error has occurred in the script. Um, does it matter? Just click on no. Then you click on the rates table. Okay. And it's going to ask you again if you want a uh, web page, uh, only those web, uh, web content is delivered securely. Click on no. Okay. And you don't care about the, uh, the, the, the error messages. Okay. So scroll down and see what we'll do is instead of grabbing this top table that only has top 10 uh, currencies, we'll grab this that has a lot more currencies and they're all uh, you know, sorted alphabetically. So we click on this uh, arrow and see how this gets highlighted. And then we click on import. Now it's, it's, it will ask you, where do you want to put the data? I'm just going to go ahead and put it in uh, be to the, in the existing sheet. That's okay. And click on OK. And it's going to take a, a, a little bit for it to actually go and grab. You see how it says getting data? There you go. What it's done is has gone and grabbed that table and put it here. Now, every you can now what we'll do is we will first set up a conversion uh, sheet. Let's just go add another sheet and let's just call this. Um, Conversion rates. Oops. And let's just call it content. Okay. Now, here what we'll do is we will have heading for Canadian dollar. Okay. And you'll be entering how many Canadian dollars for your. Canadian dollars or whatever. So 
that's where you would be putting in that uh, number of training dollars that you're trying to convert and over here what we'll do is uh, we will have the names of the currencies okay so what we'll do is we'll make this a drop down and we have seen that in the in the in the you know in a couple of previous videos also and the way you do that is use data validation so click on data validation data validation and let's zoom in allow any instead of allow any value we'll select a list and i'm going to zoom out and the source i'm going to make this the source click on ok so now if you see you have those names showing up okay so say for example you from a uh, trillion dollars you are converting into uh, you know brazilian real okay so now what we'll do is we need to actually have a conversion rate put in here now if we go to the conversion rate sheet um, you see the brazilian money one Canadian dollar is worth 2.93 bazillion um, real so um, we need to have somehow do a lookup and grab this exchange rate okay so what we'll do is we'll use vlookup uh, this is the value we'll be looking up and you go here and the first two columns because it's the it's getting the the strain rate of the, of the second column comma two comma also is do an exact match so you see um canadian dollar is worth 2.93 okay now if you do a brunian dollar that's 1.01 so if i go one down it's 1.015 okay now what we have to do is say for example this is 200 so here in the formula what we also need to do is do a multiply by this value here the number of uh, Canadian dollars that you're trying to convert so basically 200 Canadian dollars is worth 203 dollars and 11 cents in uh, in Brunei money okay uh, going back to uh, Brazilian it's worth 586.2382 okay Let's just uh, reduce the, um, um, the decimals and also put in a comma. And let's also put in a comma here. So if you have, say, 2000, it will nicely uh, you know, format that for you with, you know, with commas. All right? Now, that's fine. But you would think that this table here is locked. It's not. What we'll do is we can actually uh, update this okay? and have it go and grab the latest conversion rates as of you know whenever you're doing it, or you can also have it do it you know periodically. You can have it set up for every, you know every hour or every every ten minutes. You go go on the internet, grab to, go to the site website xrates.com and grab the update to this table. Okay, the way you do that is go to data again. Okay click on connections let's in fact let me just do one thing i'm just going to go grab this and i'm just going to do a paste as value okay the reason i did that is because if these rates change these will not so you'll be able to see um, if the rates have actually changed or not so we go to data Click on connections, okay, and you click on refresh, okay, and it's, it has updated and click on close. Uh, the values have not really changed. Well, some, some this value has. Uh, if you see it, uh, when we first uh, did it, it was 33.085, and right now it's 33.086, okay. Now, you might be thinking uh, as to what to do if uh, you, you don't want to have, have, you know, have 
this update manually. If you want to have this update automatically, the way you do that is you click on connections like we did. Okay. Then you go to properties. Okay. Refresh every, you just click this every 60 minutes, but maybe you want to have it refresh every three minutes. And you also want to refresh data when you open this file. Okay. And you click on OK and close. So now what's going to happen is every three minutes, your Excel file is going to go and grab the latest exchange rates and, you know, update this table. So when you are using the front end, uh, you can, will be using the latest rate. Now, uh, as we said, this guy here and this guy here, they have changed. Right? So if you were dealing with $2,000 Canadian, okay, earlier, that would have gotten you 66170 okay? Uh, but with the new rate, the same $2,000 Canadian gets you 66172 So about, about $2, uh, two uh, uh, Argentina pesos more. So that's the beauty of it having update, uh, having it update automatically on the internet. It goes to the website, grabs the new rates, and update this table. So then the front end, you don't need to do anything. Uh, you just uh, enter how many dollars, Canadian uh, dollars that you're trying to convert, and which currency you're trying to convert into. Say for example, you want to convert that into. Uh, yeah, US dollars. So let's uh, let's find US dollar here, and this gives you three hundred and seventy-three dollars and thirty-three cents is what uh, five hundred dollars Canadian is worth as of right now. So this is how you would uh, uh, create a you know an Excel file that would uh, do currency conversion for you and the conversion rates, the in, you know, intercurrency conversion rates. Uh, would be automatically updated. Uh, the frequency, you can go ahead and set yourself. You, uh, we just set it as, as being updated every three minutes, but you can have it set up for every hour or every day, or, you know, as you wish. But I think uh, if you are uh, doing this as, as, you know, professionally, you might want to have it, um, you know, update more, fre uh, more frequently. So that's it for this uh, video. I hope you did like this. Uh, if you did, uh, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe. Thank you.